Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. We are in the episode 7 of the series and today we have Hariket here with us who has been recently placed at Society General as a part of his campus placements at VIT. We all know Society General is a bank, is a banking company and before we talk to Hariket let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. All BTEC branches of CSC, ECE and ECM were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA. in their 10th 12th as well as in the persian degree with no standing arrears so now let's go ahead and talk to hariket and get to know his experience hi hariket firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement thank you sanish so would you like to introduce yourself first yeah sure so i'm hariket sukesh kumar shel i'm currently a final year undergraduate in csc core branch and um, i always kind of well into departments like competitive coding and web dev um, data science from my kind of first year itself okay and i kind of picked up uh, mainly after my migration so i migrated from ecm to csc in okay. my second year okay. so after that i kind of made it a uh, mandate that i would kind of well mm. very deep into these stuff mm. Regarding placements, I was specifically looking out for SDE roles, so uh, that was that is all about me. And mm-hmm. apart from that, hobbies wise, I kind of uh, like music composing and uh, listening to music and uh, painting and stuff. So yeah, that's all about. Okay, that's that's really great. Thank you for that. Um, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprise. Okay. so basically uh, sogen came in kind of month of august 2023 like the first week of it and uh, it came from uh, for an sde role under the super gene category so this role included an internship and a chance for like full time job later on okay. so uh, about that and eligibility was kind of that uh, all btechs uh, mostly all btechs and the mtech branch were also eligible for the same okay so Kind of around like six thousand B Tech plus someone from M Tech branch who so were uh, applicable eligible for that. So mm. uh, all of them applied for this, but for the online assessment, uh, they shortlisted one hundred and uh, one uh, like one thousand six hundred candidates were shortlisted for online assessment. Okay. So it happened on that, and uh, it happened on Higher Pro platform. Okay. So. the assessment kind of uh, played a crucial role in assessing technical knowledge mm-hmm. aptitude and coding abilities so okay. it comprised of these three main sections like aptitude technical coding and uh, coding challenges as well so talking about technical mcqs uh, they were mostly based on the core technical concepts such as like data structures programming languages and networks uh, i would say the difficulty was relatively easy Uh, okay. for these technical mcqs uh, okay. the only thing which mattered was speed because they had section based timing so you had to like answer quickly otherwise they uh, proceeded with the next section if you were unable to uh, kind of answer that hmm. uh, coming up to the aptitude section which followed after the technical mcq it kind of had more of logical reasoning problem solving questions and uh, a bit of mathematical abilities also okay so uh, the level of difficulty was manageable kind of mediumish uh, i mean it required a bit of calculations but uh, i mean i was able to solve it okay and after that we uh, finally uh, concluded the test with coding challenges which consisted of two problems mm-hmm. uh, the coding problems i would say were kind of a uh, bit between easy to medium level okay the key differentiator here was that uh, how you approach them i mean hmm. i can i like after the test got over uh, as per the feedback we got to know that many people were able to solve it okay but the only thing which kind of differentiated were the approaches or how much time complexity uh, hmm. kind of uh, you used in stuff like that so they strictly monitored on that okay. and they had some hidden test cases also which were not shown during the actual assessment hmm. timing hmm. so that played a major role okay so after that like uh, after this round uh, basically it took some time to kind of short listing process and all happening because mm-hmm. they were checking uh, very rigorously on the back end about everything like resume short listing and all that happened mm-hmm. so uh, when the interview short listing came uh, they short listed about 45 students okay and uh, we were advanced to the next round and uh, it was a physical process which happened in vellore campus so okay. we were asked to travel from chennai to vellore for the same 
the interview process uh, which was communicated to us during the pre, uh, place, placement talk uh, had four distinct stages so it included group discussion technical round managerial round and hr round hmm. but because of some time constraints uh, i guess because of their flight times or something they were not able to conduct the gd for us so okay uh they directly started out with the technical round itself hmm. so uh, for the technical round one uh for me after a brief this uh, like kind of introduction the interviewer dwelled directly into operating systems okay. uh, it was like he asked deep conceptual questions on operating systems hmm. and he gave me one puzzle to solve okay. uh, which was basically a logical puzzle hmm. and after that he kind of discussed more about my projects and asked me to implement certain stuff used using oops itself okay. even though i did not use oops in my projects but mm-hmm. he asked me to implement certain small sections in oops so uh, and then there were kind of follow up questions on that why you selected this and why mm-hmm. you selected this data structure so mm-hmm. those kind of questions were there then uh, we had the coding part so which uh, for me he kind of told me to implement a stack from scratch okay. and then he kind of gave me uh, a medium level question from lead code mm-hmm. so that happened So basically, the testing of whether you know how to implement a data structure from scratch or not, yeah. and after that, they dwell into the questions. Okay. Um, and I think like they also tested me out on certain hidden parameters, such as like how am I uh, handling the exceptions? Hmm. What is the memory management and stuff? Hmm. Inheritance constructors. Hmm. So those kind of things happen in the first round, and the round wrapped up with fundamental SQL query questions on joins and some transaction-based SQL tasks. so uh, it happened like that uh, the feedback was kind of uh, like they didn't kind of give an open feedback after the round so okay. we were kind of waiting for the uh, next round information hmm. so it was around uh, i would say my first round happened at 10 am and the next round directly was scheduled at uh, 3 pm so there was a long gap between the feedback hmm. which came to us so hmm. the second round as i said was again a technical come managerial round so okay. i had uh, two managers over there hmm. which was kind of uh, unique to me i would say because for others there were only one manager who were taking their interviews but okay. for me uh, one person was an sde senior sde uh, manager and other one was a cybersec department head so uh, he kind of assessed me on both the departments so okay. that they could find out the best out for me okay so i would say in terms of difficulty second round was tougher hmm. because they gave me harder problems and asked me more about system design over here okay uh, and i feel that just happened because i have a uh, experience about system design in my resume okay because other candidates did not face this kind of hmm. questions hmm. about system design so talking about that they covered like important areas about cyber security basics computer networks solid principles and uh, some software dev methods hmm. so they kind of told me to design a system and then kind of elaborate on the same high level design low level design okay. so uh, those specific things up hmm. and then uh, generic questions about like c++ virtual functions and all that so it ended up with that and uh, i think this time the feedback was strong from their side because uh, they were confident about uh, proceeding uh, with hmm. me for the next round so hmm. they kind of openly shared the feedback for this round too. okay and then uh, immediately after this uh, i got my kind of uh, mail or information about the next hr round so hr round it kind of had a comprehensive review of my uh, resume so he kind of directly asked me to take out my resume and read out from the beginning so okay. that happened Okay. and he delved into my academic background family details skills etc hmm. uh, the work experiences i had with certain internships and hmm. uh, we discussed on that and uh, i addressed like typical hr inquiries like uh, you can say assessing my alignment with company's culture hmm. the job location itself hmm. and then we had some uh, practical discussions about uh, you can say the job description itself or how will i fit in that particular role and how am i compatible with their ethics or something so mm. uh face some generic hr questions not very deep mm. so one which you can find on internet so uh how will you deal with some situations uh how will you you know deal right. with the conflict in a company stuff mm. like that mm. so that happened and the interview process uh wrapped up at 8 pm for all of the candidates uh it started at 9 am for okay. all so it was a huge process from mm-hmm. the day mm-hmm. and uh, we left vellore at 8 pm and we reached chennai campus by 11 pm and in between around like 10:30 to 11 only they declared the results via okay. mail okay okay and uh, 
I was uh, kind of thrilled to discover that I was among the 14 candidates that were offered the opportunity. Okay. So out of 14, 13 were offered internship plus full time mm-hmm. and only one candidate got the internship only okay. offer. So okay. that was a problem. Okay, that's really great. Thank you so much for sharing and congratulations again. Yeah. Do you have Thank any you. suggestions or anything that you want to share uh, based on your experience? Yeah, so like um, I have particularly three kind of concise uh, advices. One of them would be like uh, uh, the times are quite different from what it had been in the previous year. Mm. So it's kind of very wrong to kind of compare it from the previous times. Mm. And we need to have more patience than what uh, we used to have in the last year. So it's kind of that we should not make this placement journey as a race or something. Mm. It's Mm. not a competition. So Mm. whenever the right opportunity hits in you, have to kind of give your best and mm. you have to grab it right so it's not like you have to aim for higher ctc something this or that i mean if it aligns with your profile you just take it and then you can kind of aim for better opportunities later mm. second one is like uh, cgpa is something which is a burning topic in mm. all the placement experiences and all that i would say it's kind of an admit card to an, any examination i mean it's an admit card so I mean it will give you an entry to sit for an interview process or sit for an online assessment hmm. but after that it's never even asked like yeah. uh, from my experiences from whatever uh, processes I have sit, uh, sat for in on campus or off campus I have realized that they have never kind of focused on my CGP or academic background very much so I mean it's kind of just an entry level ticket after that it's your own skills your own profile and your own thing so hmm. I mean keep your preparation strong in that Third is that uh, I would say don't uh, focus more on kind of projects and stuff if you're already sitting for placements. If you have time, you make your projects well. Hmm. But if you're already into the process or kind of one month before the process, then you kind of focus more on developing your DSA data structures and all that because that will be the main differentiator factors. Projects and all are secondary okay. and uh, it may only be focused if the company is coming specifically for web dev roles or something. Mm-hmm. Apart from that, all companies are focusing on DSA data structures and all that. So, I mean, keep your strong preparation over there. Specifically, sol- start solving medium to hard level problems over there and I mean, have some, uh, you can say, practice of timed assessment. So, I mean, give challenges that are timed mm-hmm. once, mm-hmm. one hour practice or something, because you need to have some uh, distinction of the time as well. Mm-hmm. It's Anyone can solve any problem if I give you one hour, two hours, but major factor is how can you solve the same problem in 30 minutes or 20 minutes time constraint. So, keep a practice of that. So, And I hope that you'll get the best offer, which is kind of destined for you so yeah sure thank you so much thank you for sharing your experience and your suggestions yeah i am sure it will be helpful for many people thank you thank you thank you so much guys for watching please do stay tuned a lot of interview experience videos coming uh, your way in the next few days so do uh, subscribe and stay tuned thank you for watching